Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another custom ROM for Redmi Note 8. So this time we have uh, my UI, which is actually Motorola UI. And it is uh, like, look like a stock, but it has a lot of features and had a lot of customization. And the UI is a little bit different than um, our regular stock UI. So let's go and check first what we are getting with this ROM. So if we go about phone, as you can see, it's my UI. And it's running on Android 13 and our security patch level and other things are... So if we go here, so security patch level is November 5, 2022. It's not the latest one, but we don't have any latest version of this ROM. This is the latest maybe. And as for now, we have this ROM. And right after that, you can see that the the setting UI is a little bit different than usual Android 13. And our notification panel UI is a little bit different so this ROM review will be two part one is pros and one is cons so first of all we will go to the cons first so first cons is that if we come here the UI looks good here but uh, the auto brightness of this ROM is really bad so it does not adjust properly and even the panel here as you can see here it's stuck sometime it doesn't work you see it doesn't go and stop here so it's not that great so sliding around like brightness has issue i don't know why so i i did not get this kind of issue before in any other rom but i think this rom it has so it doesn't work properly sometimes does work but as you can see here it's stuck most of the time and rather than that it's a bit different than the usual ui you can put more like shortcut here and you can remove and you cannot remove this actually just only these are available and let's go to our the, Others cons is that it has a skin retention problem, which is skin ghosting or burning, whatever I say. So there is no Xiaomi parts option and there is no way to calibrate the display here. So you have to leave it with um, a skin retention problem. And there is one thing which you can do is that you can turn on the right night mode to reduce the skin retention problem, but still it's there and it's very you can see it like I can't really show here maybe it's, uh, in some like gray grayish background you can see that but mostly you cannot see that actually so that's it about retention and another thing is that this ROM freeze a lot so mostly it freezes not in the app actually when you put uh, press the power button it doesn't work when you press the power button and it doesn't turn on uh, turn on the screen when you put the fingerprint so it can just stuck there but as right now it's working just fine as you can see if i press here it does work there's no issue with that but mostly uh, in some situation it doesn't work and another thing is that this rom is china based rom but you will not see any kind of chinese thing here but it comes with like micro g so there is no gfs but micro g does work properly so if i go here system and you can see micro g is there and you can Turn on Google Play service from there. And another thing is that you can also get like uh, YouTube Best is uh, pre installed here and like Gboard also pre installed, and those works properly fine. And another thing is that, which is I think is really bad on this ROM, is that it's boot animation. So I don't really want to show you boot animation because it takes time to boot in the ROM and it's really bad. And I don't think it's um, uh, that much concern because. In the first boot only you will have to set up the things and, and right away you will not do anything like that. Just when you turn it on or off, that time you will see that animation. But rather than that, it's really bad actually. So that's about all the cons of this ROM. So it has skin retention problem, freezing, no GFs and boot animation. And overall system UI, it's a bit different. That's it about cons. So now if we go to the pros part, so first of all, one of the strong part of this ROM is that it has really good battery backup. So I haven't found this kind of battery backup from other ROMs like Sea Droid or Dripfest, whatever ROM. I always suggest to you, but this ROM has really good battery backup and you will not have any issue with this ROM. So right, I have charged this phone in the morning uh, 100% and it is still has like 60% left. Maybe I have used like three or four, three hours maybe skin on time I got already from this ROM. May I think it will give you like mostly like seven to eight hours screen on time. So it's a really good ROM in battery backup part. And another 
part of this ROM as it is not an OSP based ROM. So the UI is a bit different. So I really like a different UI. And it's it's there because nowadays you will not get like custom UI, I uh, custom ROM because mostly based on AOSP and AOSP ROMs are really good, but I really like a bit different ROMs. So it has like UI and another thing of this ROM is that RAM management of this ROM is really great. So you will not have any issue with the RAM management of this ROM. Like uh, in maybe in last ROM reviews, like I I don't know which one I have did. Maybe Oxygen OS, yeah, that's really bad. And another one is Xiaomi MIUI 13 maybe. Um, and it was really bad actually. The RAM management was very bad on those ROMs. But this ROM has really good RAM management. And another pros of this ROM is that when you first set up this ROM, it has no setup screen. You just need to select the language. Then you will go to that directly to home screen. So there is no setup screen like put connecting to the Wi-Fi and other things. So it's really good that no setup screen. I don't really like to set up the screen. It's, that's who wants to do that. Just select the language and you are good to go. And another pros of this ROM is that it does come with Gcam. So there is no MIUI camera, but Gcam here is a really good one. And it does work properly. As you can see here, it's working. So you can take photo and everything, it's work. And the Gcam version here is uh, 7.3 maybe. So it's a bit old one, so 7.3, but it works really fine. And there is no auxiliary camera support on this camera, but you can install another version of Gcam, which has auxiliary camera support. So it's working here. So I have installed like another Gcam, which has auxiliary camera support. As you can see, every camera does work fine. And you can take photo with every camera. So no issue with that too. So as you can see here, everything working fine. So micro camera also working fine. And that's great actually. So about pros and cons about this ROM here and there. So it's not really a really good ROM or bad ROM. And I don't really think it's worth to install. But if you really want to install this ROM, I will put the link in the description below. You can download it from there and flash it. But please install it like formatting the phone. Don't do dirty flush. If you do dirty flush, you will may get more bugs than this. And another thing is that safety net test. So the safety net test field, as you can see here, so you cannot use any kind of bank apps. So that's also one problem. But other than that, one another plus point is that uh, you can restore your previous apps from another ROM. So it's, those are does work, but some app does not work like I have this app, it doesn't work here. Even after cleaning the cache and data, it's still not working. And another thing of this ROM is that it has like freezing and other things. And it has like a lot of things which are from Motorola devices. But I don't think those are worthy to put in this ROM. has a lot of features, but it has not really good uh, features like what we need, like Xiaomi parts and other things. So maybe if you, if they put those things, it will be better, like putting this kind of thing, like personalization, like theming and other things. I don't think those are, we really need this kind of thing. And as it is a custom UI, so I don't really um, complaining much about this ROM. So that's it about this ROM. I will put the link in the description below. You can download it from there and flash it. So I will see you next time. So please,